Back at 8.53 this morning, if you're carrying a few extra pounds, fellas, you're certainly not alone. But experts are now saying that if your extra pounds are resulting in belly fat, you're likely incurring some serious health risks, believe it or not. Natural health expert Dr. Mark Mincola is here with more. And Dr. Mincola, always great to see you. Uh, belly, flat, belly fat, not only unflattering, but it actually can be dangerous. Explain how that is. Well, Mayo Clinic researchers now tell us that it increases pretty dramatically, Gene, our risks for heart disease, certain types of cancer, type 2 diabetes. Pretty serious stuff. So everybody may have a little belly fat and they may not be where they are. How much belly fat are we talking about? When does it become a concern? Is there a measuring stick or can you just well, tell how you feel? Yeah, they've given us some basic criteria. They suggest a BMI or body mass index over 35, waistline over 40. Think about a guy who's 5'9", 210 or so. Too much. Does it change at all based on someone's height if they're maybe over six feet or you know six two, six three, uh, as opposed to someone who's shorter? Well, the body mass index kind of takes that all into consideration because BMI is configured by dividing your height into your weight. So if that's over over thirty five, we're in trouble. Okay. Now, why is it that that the, the belly and the, and the size and the abs tends to be the place where guys collect the fat? Why is that? You know, they say it's hormonal that we go through hormonal changes as we age. Of course, we're not the same kind of metabolism. We don't have the same kind of metabolism as we. Turn turn 40 as we did when we were 20. You know, when you're 20 years old, you can eat anything, get away right, with it. Right. You hit 40 and suddenly that, that changes. It's all hormonal. I've seen guys, though, I think we all have, we have pot bellies out to here, but if you see them from the waist up, you wouldn't tell, you couldn't tell that they're carrying extra weight because their face is still thin and stuff like that, but it goes right to the belly. And that has a lot to do with insulin, and that, that's the primary hormone we're talking about here. And as we get older, the insulin efficiency takes a dive. All right, uh, let's talk about solutions here. Uh, first of all, how do you avoid this in the first place, or is it unavoidable? It's just one of those natural things of aging. You know, it, it really is a natural process where by we lose our metabolic efficiency as we age, unfortunate. A lot of efficiencies go downhill, but this is one of them. And the real key here is, we were talking about it before we went on, you can't break down the bread, the cereal, the pasta, the rice, the cookies, and the ice cream like you used to. So the sugars and starches are unfortunately the real key to this issue because they drive up insulin. And that's really what uh, causes the problem. If you have it, is I mean, can you get rid of it? I mean, what's the best way to go about it other than diet? Is there some supplement you could take that would help you with this? Well, there, there really are very real viable ways to get rid of it. And I think the key is it starts with diet, the idea that you want to eat more fruits and vegetables. Here we go again. Right. A lot of proteins. And as you get older, again, more of that. But key here is less starch. The high starch foods, the potatoes, the cereals, the breads, the pastas, that stuff's got to come way down to like a serving or two a day. And again, move the body. So it's really the, the idea of eating less, moving more. That's the real key. So exercise, obviously, is crucial here. But some people say, you know what, I need something to help me take away the hunger. And if I could only stop the hunger, I'd stop eating that stuff. Is there a way you can do that naturally? Because I know uh, there are some supplements out there, but those can be a little bit dangerous. You're absolutely right. There are supplements that will increase metabolism, things like ephedra. Those things have been known to drive up heart rate and they've been known to drive up uh, blood pressure, not always safe. Right. So they're not great ways to go. It really comes back down to the idea of moving more, eating less. And again, I say that you've got to drop these starches way down. More fruits and vegetables, less bread. And uh, lastly, uh, if you do do this, you will see results. Guys like, that ah, will never happen. But you can do it, and once you get a little taste of those results, then that's enough to kind of carry you down the road a little it bit. It really is a matter of readapting your metabolism and the way you eat and your behaviors. You can't do at 40 what you did at 20. That's a <laughs> reality. Uh, unfortunately, <laughs> isn't that the case? Of course, for more information on this and other natural health remedies, you can visit uh, Dr. Mark Mincola at maxhealing.com. Dr. Mincola, Mark, always good to see you, man. Thanks, Thank you very Gene. much. Thank I'm going to go much. work on that Appreciate today. It. <laughs> I'm hiding just a little bit of that, Elizabeth.